which is still a beta, which has been a while, but we're going to be installing Loadscape 0.8 and then enabling the new hyperthread multi-thread function, which should increase your speed and workflow, however many cores you've got. It's going to make it really fast. So let's jump straight in. So if we head over to our preferences, uh, like we normally would, I've already got it installed, but we click the install button and head over to wherever we've just downloaded uh, 0.82. Uh, let's select it and click install add-on. Once that's done, this will pre-fill and then you'll have to check this box. So we check that box and once we open up the drop-down, a um, couple of things that you might want to do is enable debug and this will just give you like time values on every node that gets processed so you can see how fast it is. We can ignore all of this and then what we want to do is enable the multi-threaded engine. So if we click this button, let it do its thing. Um, once it's done, it might take a couple of seconds. Um, once it's done that, we can restart Blender. So let's restart Blender. And let's open it back up. I have a really generic desktop. Nice and clean. Keeps me focused. And when Blender turns itself back on, we can go to the preferences, we go to oop, Loadscapes. And we should now have this button instead of the install one, it'll just say update engine. And we can check that by if we go into uh, Nodescapes um, node editor, uh, we click anywhere here and you'll see Nodescapes. Um, I'm going to go to my custom node escapes workflow. So as you can see up here, um, if we click this little sort of options button, we should see that we now have multi-threading enabled um, and it will tell you how many threads you have. So that's um, however many physical cores your machine has got plus how many threads that that core can do. So if you've got like an eight core machine, which will hyper thread, then you should have a uh, 16 threads available. Um, those who are on like a thread ripper should have like 64 or 128 threads of whatever insane number that is. Um, and just so that you guys can get an example of sort of those speeds, what we're going to do is I'm just going to move this over a little bit so it's not as jarring. Uh, this is my 3D viewport. I'm going to click new, a little plane will appear. Uh, I'm going to just increase the density of that to like 80. That's the subdivision. Um, I'm going to add in a noise. It's going to be hetero terrain. Um, just make sure that the debug is on. Uh, I'm going to execute that so we can see it happening here. I'm going to add a simulation node, the hydraulic erosion, which was um, previously quite slow depending on, on the machine because it was a single core workload um, and it was based upon like whatever your highest clock speed was so if you had a three gigahertz CPU or something like you were getting pretty slow results um, yeah I mean you get pretty slow results on any single threaded process um, and what we're going to do here is just set the maximum drop at lifetime to 30 and you can see that was instant uh, and we can see that process took 0.1 second um, and what we can do just to show you how fast it is we have a new node um, under utility called uh, interpolate and what this essentially does is it remeshes at a higher resolution so if we've got um, density of 80 here then we can set this to like just, we can just double it for example and you can see that it becomes a bit sharper and if we add another um, simulation hydraulic erosion in and again set this to 30 we can see that we're now doing more on that we can times this number by two add a little bit more erosion if we wanted to we can uh, interpolate again so we go to utility interpolate again let's set this to 320 get that really high resolution mesh in and add another hydraulic erosion on the simulation uh, let's times this by 
5 and set this to 30 and we can see that we're getting some really high quality results um, fairly quickly in total and if we sort of execute the whole thing we'll see here that it isn't taking that long at all the whole tree took one second um, which is a lot faster than it previously was um, so that is how you install Notescapes 0.8 um, and obviously just a quick demo of the benefits of enabling the multi-threaded engine um, there will be future videos coming and they will be hosted by Zach and they'll be running through processes of how to do certain things and how to follow along and create mountains or how some of the math functions work and how the noise works um, so you guys will get to see all that too well see you in the next one love you all bye bye